What is up, YouTube? Flourish RLC, and I'm back with a Madden 16 online game. Here we are, AFC Championship Patriots at Broncos. We get to see Brady versus Manning one more time, or at least, you know, as we think right now. Peyton Manning is probably going to retire at the end of the year. So, uh, you know, this is kind of special. You know, this is really, really cool because, you know, for people that have been watching football for, a, you know, the past 10, 15 years, um, Manning versus Brady has been probably the number one rivalry that we've seen. And it's really cool that we get to see these two go head-to-head -head in the last game before the Super Bowl. You know, th win this game and you're on to the Super Bowl. Will Brady win a fifth ring or will Manning win his second? It's going to be interesting, man. It's going to be really interesting. Unfortunately, I wish it was the Chiefs in this game, but... Patriots beat my Chiefs, and then the Broncos beat the Steelers. Uh, so I'm not going to waste your time, and I'm just going to give you guys my predictions, and then I'll tell you why I, f I think that. Um, I can't go against Brady. I, I cannot go against Brady. I cannot go against Belichick in the playoffs. Like, you just cannot. You know, um, you know now that they're not facing the Chiefs, uh, I don't have to be biased now. Now I can, you know, be straightforward for both teams. Um, and I just feel like Brady and Belichick – I mean, that's scary. And you know what? They, you know, even though the scoreboard might not have indicated it, they picked apart the Chiefs. Now, the Chiefs aren't exactly Super Bowl, you know, material. But still, I mean, they carved up the Chiefs. I mean, that was an impressive performance by Brady and the Patriots to see what they did to the Chiefs. And the Broncos have struggled. Now, true, they're still getting wins, and no matter, you know, which way you put it, true, false, right or wrong, yes or no, black or white, wins are wins in the NFL. You can't go against that. But they've been getting ugly wins. You know, you can date back to the regular season, the very last game when they beat the um, they beat the Chargers. Now, true, Brock Osweiler was playing the first half of that game, but they had like three turnovers in the first quarter. That is ugly. And then against the Steelers, you know, who knows if I think Toussaint was the one that fumbled. If he doesn't fumble, who knows? Maybe the Steelers are the one playing this game, and we're playing it at Foxborough. Um, but, you know, and, and again, I'll say it again. Wins in the NFL are wins. No matter which way you put it, it still wins. But they just have not been getting pretty wins. They just they have not looked sharp. They have not looked very good. I think Peyton Manning has, like, what, like one touchdown in his last, like, six games. There's something in, like crazy bad Peyton Manning has just not done very well. And Tom Brady is just, you know, Tom Brady is ageless. I mean, that guy's out there playing like he's, you know, in his mid-20s still. I mean, he's just absolutely unstoppable. I mean, how old is Brady? 38, 39? He does not look like a 38, 39-year-old man out there on the field. He does not. Brady... Looks just about as con as conditioned as anyone. I mean, you know, hell, he scrambled for what? I think it was like a 15-yard run against the Chiefs last week. I mean, that's that's something that, quite frankly, Peyton Manning can't do. But I just I can't go against the Patriots. I just cannot. Now, which I want to because I don't like the Patriots. I don't like the Broncos. So pretty much I lose no matter who wins this game. Um, you know, well, I mean, I guess I still win in the sense that I get to see Brady versus Manning, and that's just an awesome classic rivalry. But I just can't go against the Patriots, you know. And I know that there's a good chance that the Broncos could still win. I mean, this is the. I mean, you don't get to the AFC Championship by fluke, okay? You just don't. Um, the Broncos have still been getting it done thanks to that studly defense. And also, how, how is that going to factor in? You know, the Patriots have a great offense, but the Broncos have the best defense. I think the Broncos have the best defense in the NFL. I mean, it's going to be interesting, but I think that what the Broncos have to do is they got to get physical at the line of scrimmage with these guys. That's something that I felt like the Chiefs did not do, and the Patriots ate them alive for that because you saw how much room they gave Edelman, Amendola, Gronkowski, you just cannot do that because Brady will get that ball out in like point zero five two one sixty nine seconds. He's just going to get the ball out that quick. So you got to be physical at the line of scrimmage, and uh, they got to get pressure on Brady as well. And I think Von Miller, Demarcus Ware, uh, I, I don't think that should necessarily be as much of a problem. Uh, but just still, you just never know what's going to happen in the NFL, and that's just the beauty about football. You never know what's truly going to happen. But I, I just can't pick against the Patriots. I just I just can't, you know. They're just they're too good in the playoffs and they've made that known throughout the last 
15 plus years, you know, they've been the team to beat every year. I mean, hell, look at, I think since what, like 2005, something crazy like that, look at all of the quarterbacks representing the AFC in the Super Bowl. There's four guys on that list. Two of them are playing in this game. I mean, so that is just a testament to how good both of these quarterbacks and both of these teams are. So, you know, it should be a great game. It should be a phenomenal game. And also, I want to take a really quick second, and I want everyone in the comments to congratulate Dez on his first true user pick. Like, he usered that from start to finish. So I want everyone in the comments to say congratulations, Dez, because he finally got a user pick, you know, because he's fairly new to Madden. Uh, so we got his first true user pick. So GG, Dez, I'm proud of you. Finally, you got your first user pick. Um, but you still got to see if you can beat me, though. We're here into the fourth quarter. So a time's a ticking down here, but he's uh, threatening to score, so that'll help him. And if he scores, he takes the lead automatically. Uh, but anyway, so that's pretty much my predictions for the game. I think the Patriots are going to win this one. I think it's going to be a very, very close game. But, um, you know, I think it's going to be another Patriots Super Bowl. Unfortunately, because, again, I don't like the Patriots. I'm kind of getting bored of seeing the same people in the Super Bowl every year. But, hey, you know, the Patriots are the Patriots. You can't bet against them, and I'm not going to. I would like to be wrong. I mean, as much as I don't like the Broncos, I at least like the Broncos more than I like the Patriots. So, um, yeah, so that's my predictions. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And uh, so let's start talking about the game now and perfect timing because right here on this play, I know I'm going to get a ton of comments saying, Fluttershy, what in the serious hell were you doing? Uh, well, that play, it's a weird play where the your tackle goes out on a, on a route, like they actually like go out into the flats. So my idea was to throw to that, and pretty much I was stubborn. And I was like, I want to throw this no matter what, and uh, it didn't end up working out for me. And I ended up getting picked off, and then I get picked off on this play. So things are going from bad to worse for me. So it looks like Dez is gonna get another win on me. He's beaten me twice already, and uh, so this might be the third time he's gonna beat me. But I'm still gonna fight because you know what? You know, again, I love Dez. He's my best friend, but. I I, I can't lose to him. I just can't, <laughs> you know. I can't lose to him, man. There's certain bragging rights. But look at Gerard Mayo getting that pick. That is huge for us. We definitely need to get that pick. So first down and 10, two and a half minutes to go. Can Brady get another epic comeback and send the Patriots to the Super Bowl? I don't know. But so first down and 10, Brady, we're going to scroll out of the pocket and let's see what happens. Brady in trouble. Here comes the rush and here's the hit. Brady's up. That's good to see, but a, what looked like a knockout hit by Nate Clements, who played against Brady when they were both in the Big Ten. Clements at uh, Ohio State, Brady at Michigan. And Brady's got some open room, and he's got some blockers going out of bounds to avoid him getting killed like he did in that last shot you guys just saw. So the screen to Deion Lewis, I don't care if he's not really in the game. This is going to score us a touchdown, and now we're only down by three we need a field goal to tie the game, send it in overtime, or a touchdown to win it. Can we get the ball back from Dez? A minute 54 left. We still have two timeouts, but because it's a friendly game, we're not going to chew clock or anything. So pretty much we'll be able to save those two timeouts. But this isn't helping. He gets a big, big play out to the 45-yard line. I wasn't expecting him to pass on that play, to be honest. So I was heavy blitzing. Uh, so that's going to bring up a second down and 12 after he gets stuffed there on that run. He's going to pass it again down the field. And it was caught, but he drops it. He had the one-hand speed. Back catch Odo Beckham Jr. animation, but he doesn't hold on to it. So third down and 12, a first down here pretty much will end the game. He's got C.J. Anderson in the flats, but he doesn't get the first. He's going to kick a field goal, and me and him were battling some mean lag this whole game, and he's not going to get it. That's going to be just short, but can we get an Auburn-Alabama situation here? No, we can't because we can't return it, but... That gives us 48 seconds and two timeouts. So just, I'm trying to just get in field range. That's why I ran the ball right there. He came out in quarter, so I was like, running the ball sounds like the best option. Go with the screen, and it's going to be open to Steven Jackson. But unfortunately, Steven Jackson's a dump truck, so he's not very fast. So that's going to get us to the 50-yard line. We take a timeout, or... Um, no, we had an incomplete pass because we called hurry up after that. So we find, uh, I believe it's Danny Amendola. Almost pick up, or we do pick up the first down. Down to eight seconds to go. I give the handoff to Steven Jackson to try to pick up some extra yards to help myself get into better field goal range. And because of the lag, you guys are about to see, I don't, and I'm, I'm telling him to call a timeout. And he's like, I don't know, how, you know what took him so long, but he never called a timeout. And that's going to be game. And I, you Trust me when I say there was some bad lag. You guys know me, but you guys have been watching me for I don't know how long. 
You guys know me better than th you guys know I would not mess it up that bad. So the lag prevented me from being able to fully kick that, and uh, we take the loss. So uh, GG to Dez, you know, he played a good game, and we kind of did shoot ourselves in the foot uh, with those two picks and that safety at the beginning of the game. So, hey, you know, still, it's still just a friendly game and just some backdrop for me talking about the AFC Championship game this weekend. So hopefully that is the... Um, outcome in real life because I'd like the Broncos to win, but I'm still going to be picking the Patriots because the Patriots just, in my opinion, are the better team. Belichick's a better coach. Brady's a better quarterback. You just cannot bet against them in the playoffs. But again, I would love to hear your guys' predictions and what you guys think is going to happen. And uh, also later on tonight, I'll have the game with my predictions for the Panthers and Cardinals game. And then in two weeks, you guys will see my Super Bowl predictions. Hopefully it's going to be Panthers and Broncos, but most likely it's going to be Panthers and um, Patriots. I kind of just spoiled the NFC game for you guys. But <laughs> I'll see you on the next one on Fluttershy. Peace out and have a great day, guys.